handball is more and more a fun and spectacular sport. But this development is not progressing on its own. Good agreements have to be made with all concerned. Not just agreements on the rules of the game, but especially agreements with which philosophy you can play beach handball. Everyone has their own responsibilities in this process. The most important rule of the game in beach handball is fair play. This should be clear to everyone. This helps the creation of a sport which is even more appealing to play and even more fun to watch. This is what the beach handball field looks like. The goal area forms a rectangle. Players are not normally allowed to go here, but this is allowed. Players may only substitute in their own area. If you change quickly, then your opponent can be surprised. This is different for the goalkeeper. He may leave the field from this area, but only enter through his own goal area. The goalkeeper leaves the field, and in this situation the other takes part in the attack. So mostly you play with four attackers against three defenders. All normal goals count as one point, but in a number of situations you can score two points with one goal. This is so when the goalkeeper scores a goal. With a six meter throw. With an in-flight goal. And if a goal is scored with a spectacular action. Because the goalkeeper plays as libero or free roll, and is more dangerous than the other players, there are more tactical possibilities. Creativity is rewarded. A match consists of two halves. Each half must produce a winner. In the event of a tie at the end of a half, the game continues, just as in the beginning of the first and second halves, with a referee throw. The game continues until a golden goal is scored. If both teams win one half, then the score is 1-1. A shootout or one against the goalkeeper follows. Five players from each team are given the chance to score. The two teams take turns. You can choose on which side you want to begin. If you make a mistake, your attempt is over. The goalkeepers can only leave their line when the referee whistles. Also with a shootout, you get two points with creative goals. The result after the shootout is 2-1. In beach handball, you may dive at the ball.
If a violation occurs near the goal area, then a free throw must be taken one meter from the goal area line. After a goal, the game continues immediately. If the ball in play is far away, you can use another ball. The flow of the game has to be respected. If the ball goes over the sideline here, then the throw-in takes place here. Each team has one team timeout per half. The card remains so everyone knows the timeout has been used. In the case of a suspension, then you continue with one player less. After a turnover by your opponent, you can play again as a complete team. Disqualification follows after being sent off twice. If the ball comes back via the goalkeeper, then there is no turnover and the defence has to play with one player less. The referee uses different hand signals. As referee, you play an important part in the development of beach handball. This means you must interpret the rules wisely. Also, in more difficult situations, the decision must be made on the basis of the fair play rule. You must decide what is sportsmanlike and dare to take responsibility. But players are also responsible for the safety of others.